Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Oh my god. I almost forgot my horns. Alright, take two. Welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. I am Andy. Thank you so much for tuning in with us today. I'm very excited because I am doing a first impressions uh, two-parter. You guys know I love doing my two-parters. So we're going to start this one off with a first impression of the Juvia's Place Concealer. Now you guys know I've talked about and I hauled the Juvia's Place foundation, but I've actually never applied it on film. So I figured today would be a good day, good day, a good day, a good day to go ahead and put on the foundation and then do the concealer with it so you guys can see how they work together. I have never used the concealer before. I literally opened the box for it like a day ago. So I'm very excited to jump into it. So without further ado, let's see how I like yet another concealer. I am gonna do my concealer first. I know there's like this kind of like, oh, your concealer's supposed to go on top of your foundation. I do that sometimes. Um, I found I actually like the way my be my skin looks better if I do the concealer first and then I do foundation on top of that. Personally, I think in terms of makeup, there there is technique absolutely to it, but it should be what you feel most comfortable with and what you think looks best for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my concealer first just because I always feel like I look really, really patchy and really cakey if I do my concealer on top. So that was my justification for going ahead and do it. But. This is, I just have to say, it's the widest flipping concealer. I don't know if you guys can see how fat it is. Like, I always say the shape tape is really, really fat, but this is, like, just short and squatty. So, it's a really bulky concealer, if that makes sense. Um, and it gives you, like, this nice wide uh, brush. And it kind of reminds me of the shape tape brush. So, I'm just going to go in under my eyes. Oh, it's very liquidy. Oh, oh, wow. I also got, like, extra pale. Like they have 42, 45, something like that colors to choose from. And I was shopping online because that's what I do best. And I was just like, I think this is close enough. But it's not bad. It's just, uh, it's very light. I chose very light. Still not as bad as that time that I got a, uh, an auburn shade in NYX and it was orange. Because we all saw how that was. It's covering really well though and it's blending in very nicely. So I'm not complaining about it. I'm just, I just wasn't expecting it. And actually, I, I know I said that the shade is pale. Yes, we're going into winter time, so it'll actually work probably pretty nicely for me. But it's not a bad shade. I think I might have been able to go, like, one shade darker. But then I feel like I might be like, oh, wow, it's so dark. I look like I'm spray tanning. This is probably, if I had to buy the shade again, I probably would. Just because I think I always, especially for concealers, I prefer to go a little bit lighter than what I'm used to than go darker. It seemed to absorb very nicely into my skin. It doesn't look super crepey under my eyes. I mean, you can still kind of see a little bit of discoloration, but really I just like the concealers to go in and neutralize. Um, I think with the foundation on top, it's gonna really, really play well, but we'll, we'll see. So far, I'm a fan of it. It's only a $14 concealer. I don't think I mentioned that, but um, Juvia's Place is very affordable in terms of like, I would classify it not drugstore or affordable I would classify it as more of like a high-end but it's just an affordable high-end and high-end is the wrong word as well because when I say high-end people think like Chanel and Tom Ford and the ones that are like really expensive so I would say it's um more of a, a quality higher end brand that is just at a price point that's more affordable to the masses. So $14 for concealer for a good concealer is not unreasonable at all. Um and I don't think I told you guys what shade I just told you I got it really light. But it says 21. Oh, it's just the Magic Concealer in shade 21. Looks like. That's what I'm seeing. So I got shade 21. I don't know what that means, but it's uh, it's light AF. That's what shade 21 is. So. Alright, Um, I don't at all. I'm not going to pretend like I remember what. The, oh, it's Malta. There's a sticker on this one. It says Malta 640. So I got the foundation in the shade Malta 640. Um, and like I said, I've used it, but I've never used it on camera. So it is just a touch darker than this concealer is. It's a lot darker than this concealer is, but that's fine. That's fine. That's what I was expecting. And just based on how the concealer did, like in terms of the texture of it, up applying, I may be able to, if I'm a little bit too dark with this particular foundation, I may be able to put just a little bit more concealer on top of it. I may not need to though. That's just like absolute worst case scenario. Cause this just... It definitely has more of a 
yellowy orangey tint to it whereas the concealer itself was just very very white and this foundation i just uh, i just think it applies so daggone well and it just does such a good job of making your skin look natural while covering it that it's hard not to i know the beauty community just absolutely blew up when this thing came out and it's so easy to see why because once again it's not an expensive foundation it's I think $20 full price, which for a quality foundation, once again, that is not unreasonable. People pay hundreds of dollars for a foundation that they like. Even some of the more affordable ones are closer to $50 a bottle. So, I mean, you just have to put it in perspective. Like $20 for a foundation, it is super worth it if it's something that you really, really like and it really works well for your skin. All right, now just in a couple of like my trouble areas, I'm going to go ahead and put some more of the concealer on. Um, when I say trouble areas, I mean like I know my nose always tends to peel, especially right now I'm like a little bit sinusy, so I always am blowing my nose. All right, so I did go ahead and I put more on um, my nose, more concealer that is on my nose. Um, the camera did cut off, so um, I was waiting. I was gonna wait for Nikki to go ahead and restart the camera before I blended it in, and I was like, it may dry, and that might be bad. So I went ahead and blended it in. Um, I actually really liked how it did on top of my nose. Um, I felt like it was a little patchy before I did that, and then after that, kind of cleared up that patchiness real, real quick, which I was very, very fond of. So I'm just gonna go in and like just a couple things. I know when I do my um, foundation over my brows, it tends to kind of take away some of the shape just at the tip. So I'm gonna go in and just brush it out. I'm going to go ahead and set it, which I have not done yet, with the Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder from It Cosmetics. This is just a really nice neutral setting powder, so it doesn't give any color to it. It won't affect the color. It just kind of gets in there and makes sure everything is nice and dry, which I like. It looks like it's snowing or I have horrifying dandruff or maybe some sort of an illicit drug addiction. I don't know. There's just white stuff everywhere is what I'm getting at. Now that that's all set in, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, do my contour and uh, my blush and my highlight and get that all ready to go. And then, uh, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is going to be a two-part for the first impressions. So, first impressions of the Juvia's Place. Um, I want to see it with all of my contour and everything done first, but overall, I'm really, really impressed with it. This will definitely be something that I will continue to buy, just like the foundation. I think it's a super solid concealer. I think it's a super solid foundation, and I think they work really well together. Um, so yeah, overall, I think it's really, really worth it. Uh, I am going to go ahead and do my contour and all that good stuff that I just mentioned, and then I'll come back, show you guys what that looks like, and then tomorrow you guys will get to see what our eye look looks like. So, be right back. Okay, so I uh, just have like a rough contour done right now. I'm going to go ahead and add my blush and then I'll blend it out. And then I'll add the highlights and then we'll see how this puppy is looking. I'm just going over it with some of my like, my go-to contour blush combos. I uh, used my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. And then I've got this pretty um, Gen Nude blush from Bare Minerals, both of which sit in my everyday makeup bag. I figured it would be a good um, kind of gauge to see how that plays on top of it. It's always very interesting to see how that kind of stuff builds on top of foundations. So, all right, it seems to have blended in pretty nicely. And then I'm just gonna take my Ofra um, highlighter in the shade Blissful and use that in because it's like a nice goldeny color and I think the eye look that I'm going to create today is going to be kind of like greeny greeny is what I'm thinking so golds always typically do really well with green shades so I'm going to do that that nice golden color also does a good job of kind of like going in there where it's like really really light because of the shade of the concealer and adding just a little bit of bronze tint to it so that way it looks a little bit more uh, like my actual skin tone right now since I'm still a little bit tan from the summer from being at the beach and in Disney so okay so this is the final look uh, without of course the eyes and everything completed but this is just contour all of that good stuff like I said really really like the Juvia's Place I knew I liked it um, but to do the concealer and the foundation together I am definitely a fan of it. Um, I would highly recommend it. I think it's very affordable for the quality that you're getting. And um, overall, I am a very big fan. Plus, they just have such a huge variety of shades for both. Um, you really can't beat it. You can probably find a probably close to pretty perfect match for any skin tone. So, uh, yeah, this is it.
This is the foundation. Um, both are from Juvia's Place. This one, like I said, is 20 and this one is 14. So really great pair right there. Very glad that I have them both to be able to use together now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really like doing these first impression videos mainly just because it gives me an excuse to spend an ungodly amount of money on makeup. But um, I hope you guys liked it as much as I enjoyed filming it. Um, as always, if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like our page, please go subscribe and hit the notification bell. We are currently on our path to our first giveaway. It is a 100 subscriber giveaway. We filmed the video about it. I don't know when this one gets posted, if that one will already be up or not. But we are giving away a couple of nice, really, really cool goodies. Once we hit 100 subscribers, um, we'll open the giveaway then, announce the official rules and what you have to do to be entered. But I really want to give it away, so please subscribe and please encourage your friends to subscribe so that we can hit that 100 mark a little bit quicker. Um, as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and you stay girly, but with a dark twist.